before we get started uh, with what we've got to do to finish today, which is the rubber roof and the siding on the front, and uh, get the wheels on and finish the siding on the bottom, let me first say this, that uh, when my siding came in, it was damaged, and uh, I was able to salvage all of it. Um, there's a couple little dings that are on the side of the trailer, but there's no big deal to me. And I sent Hemet Valley RV an email with some pictures showing the damage, and that, uh, and then I noted that on the bill of lading from the uh, free company. And uh, man, like within, if it was five minutes, I'd be lucky. I got a call from Hemet Valley from Steve, and uh, tell you what, if if you've never purchased any siding from these guys, these these people are top notch, and uh, they're all about customer service. And he would have shipped out new pieces like today if I wanted them. And uh, but I was able to use what I had, and uh, he was pretty excited about that, I'm sure. <laughs> and uh, but just a big shout out to him at Valley RV um, for all your siding needs, and you know, just just a good good experience with these guys, and uh, they do deliver. So with that uh, said, let's go ahead and get started on what we have to do today. This is day two and right now I'm getting ready to put on the rubber roof. So I've got it laid out up there. Let it warm up a little bit and then I'll fold it back and put on the uh, adhesive and then we will uh, roll it and lay it out before we put on the front siding. Get ready to lay down the rubber roof. So what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and roll out the uh, adhesive, and then we'll spread the rubber roofing over top of it, and kind of iron out some of the wrinkles or any air bubbles, and move forward. done this before. It smells like Elmer's glue. Okay, rubber roof is on. 
I can't say it's the greatest job in the world, but I can say it's on. And just so you know, freaking hot up there. Whew. Okay, so the uh, top is on and glued and it is trimmed around the edges. And uh, to take contact cement, pull that down and adhere it. And then the J-rail goes along the, uh, the top edge here, about half inch down, somewhere in there. I don't have the J-rail yet, so I'm not exactly sure where to trim it. And I got the top. trimmed so next I'll find my seam here and this is where the uh, front piece begins and then we'll install that on the front part and begin get the rest of it skinned down so there we go it's starting to come along okay so now that the rubber roof is on we're starting on our first piece and this is a 48 inch piece wide and uh, about 76 and a half long and we, uh, we measured, uh, well, let's say we got a mark here on each side that, uh, and I'll explain that here later. We line up and we uh, attach, attach the aluminum to the top. And once that's uh, done, then we'll have an, a, a trim that'll go across here that we fasten down with some butyl tape or, or some uh, eternal bond. And uh, that'll seal the top. Gives a good tight seal between the rubber roofing and the aluminum and we uh, we actually trimmed it to fit before we put it up here uh, save a step and then we brought it down and we we knew where our mark was so when we folded it down it lined up so our distance from our line to the top of the window is uh, pretty consistent all the way across that way when the window is in our access lines accent lines are uh, parallel with the window so nothing looks crooked and we've got this attached here so next step is to go ahead and attach these around around the window edge get it locked in place then we'll go ahead and install our second piece and we'll route that out so it's uh, now coming along for the front sweet looks good Okay, a little bit of a progress report. So, the top piece on, second piece, third piece, fourth piece, fifth piece. Now we're ready for the next to the last piece to go on before we have to uh, jack this thing up and uh, put the wheels on it so we can get the bottom pieces done. Anyway, starting to look like a trailer. Well, the sun's going down and we can see the tip of Mount Jefferson right there. Nice, uh, nice sunset. Beautiful night. Well, uh, we got a lot accomplished today. It was hot, you know, I don't know, mid 90s perhaps. But uh, we got most of the siding on. I think we've got two pieces left to uh, install and uh, we'll call it good. So let me give you a shot of what we got done so far. So that's turning out pretty neat. So. Hang on. Of course, we had the rubber roof installed this morning, and now it's just overhanging there, waiting for uh, some trim to come. Uh, tomorrow, I'll work on installing the windows, and uh, we'll get some corner trims on. The back is done, and uh, fits really nice. The bottom is, uh, is what they call a... a uh, auto mold, auto molding, and it curls under and you, you actually attach it from underneath. Uh, that's pretty good. I'll give you a shot of that here in just a minute. Uh, this is the side that we still have to put on. Uh, I got the wheels on today. I need to pump up the tires. But uh, there it is. This thing's starting to look like a something that sits on an RV lot, right? Still have the front piece to install. And I got the uh, side piece done. So, uh, install windows tomorrow, install the door tomorrow, and finish the trimming. 
or the siding there on the bottom on the one side and the front and then I'll work on some exterior trim molding and get that sealed up. Let me give you a shot of the uh, auto molding. So what that is is the siding comes down and it rolls underneath like that and you attach it to the bottom that way it's not visible inside here and then uh, that looks pretty good yep and then of course the uh, the wheel well is just trim flush I've got a piece of molding that I had left over from my uh, teardrop that I built and uh, I'll put that on also tomorrow that'll uh, that'll look good it's an aluminum color it's not white or anything so we'll see whether or not I take it off and paint it this thing is ready for some Kragers <laughs> okay guys there it is well thanks for hanging in with there with me and uh, as always stay tuned